Thanks for being with us. Some people across the nation, some here in Idaho, still feeling the effects of last month's government shutdown, especially those who receive help through food stamps. They received it weeks early because of the shutdown. And KTVB Shira Matsuzawa is live now at St. Vincent de Paul's Overland Pantry with a look that that is still having on those folks and on the food pantry. Shira? That's right, Dee. You know, experts anticipated that people who received those SNAP benefits early during the shutdown would likely turn to resources like food pantries once those benefits ran out. And that's exactly what they're seeing happen right now, and it's putting an additional pressure on places like St. Vincent de Paul. Did you want garlic bread or French bread? <gasps> oh, yes, please. It's been a confusing time for Idaho mom Rose. I have to spoil my daughter. <laughs> She uses supplemental nutritional assistance program benefits, better known as SNAP or food stamps, to get her groceries. How about mac and cheese? Yes, please. But since last month's government shutdown changed how benefits were distributed in the SNAP program, people like Rose received their February SNAP benefits weeks early. And that was the most confusing letter. They just said that you're getting your food stamp benefits early and stretch them out. That early disbursement made keeping Rose's fridge stocked more difficult. We ran out probably halfway through the month. So, I mean, if you're trying to feed a family on less than $200 a month in food stamps, it gets a little penny pinch in there. Now, Rose finds herself in a snap gap waiting for March, which brought her to St. Vincent de Paul's Overland Center Food Pantry. It's a godsend. <laughs> like, some people, a lot of people, not some people, a lot of people need this right now, and I'm one of those people. About the early part of last week, we started to see a much heavier influx of people coming into the pantry. Food banks and pantries like St. Vincent de Paul are helping bridge the gap, but it's getting harder. What we're looking at right now is, is last week and this week, it's about 20% over what it was, what it would be normal. And we're anticipating in the next two weeks it even be greater because we're still almost two weeks out from when they receive their next set of SNAP benefits. Because of the high demand, the pantry is now looking for help. Help in food, people, and money. We are committed to help everyone that is short of food. A commitment Rose is grateful for. Without it, like, I would be more stressed about how I'd be able to put food on the table for me and my daughter. Even though I'm able to provide some, it's, this helps a lot. St. Vincent de Paul says they've also seen a big increase in the number of new families coming to their pantry. That could be attributed to Boise's recent growth or uh, the SNAP gap. They also say that the next uh, disbursement is actually going to happen in the next in the first 10 days of March. Dee. All right. Thanks for getting us up to date on that, Shira.